guys. So, finally, nakuha na natin yung ating pin. Dumating na. Finally, guys. So, um, try na natin i-verify yung account natin. Okay? So, um, billing address. So, dito na yan, guys. So, click natin yung verify. And then, i-type natin yung pin. Code in the pin. So, that's 727714. And, tingnan natin ang mangyayari. So, let's click submit. Ay, ganun lang. Okay. So, your billing address has been verified. Ay, okay. Wala na bang iba? Yun lang. <laughs> okay. Yun lang, guys. So, verified na siya. Then, refresh lang natin. <coughs> okay. Alright, guys. So, since uh, na-verify na nga natin yung ating address sa uh, YouTube, so, next natin gawin is mag-add na tayo ng payment method para makuha na natin soon yung sweldo natin. Right? Okay, so, how to do it? So, yes, of course, punta lang kayo sa Google AdSense account nyo. And then, click payments. So, yun. Payments. And then, um, click nyo lang tong add payment method. Alright. And then, after that, lalabas tong um, two option, which is itong add new wire transfer details and yung check details. Now, based on your research ko, um, medyo komplikado do yung process in terms of check. So, mas maganda na ito, add new wire transfer details. So, diretso na siya sa uh, banko nyo. Right? So, automatic withdraw na lang sa ATM. Wow! <laughs> nice. Okay. So, yep. So, let's fill in the informations na kailangan. So, with beneficiary ID, uh, optional. So, wala, wag na lang natin lagyan ng any information. So, with the name on bank account, yes, of course, kailangan mo ilagay yung full name mo and make sure na um, same yung name sa Google account mo and at the same time, yung don sa banko mo. And add mo na rin yung full name. Um, next is, of course, the bank name. Kung ano yung banko mo. So, example, BPI, BDO, Metro Bank, or PS Bank. Right? So, and then, um, make sure na rin pala, guys, be mindful with the bank. Um, actually, um, kailangan nyong um, mag-inquire sa banko if um, they accept or up eligible yung um, bank nyo for international wire transfer. Well, now, so far sa uh, na-research ko, uh, okay daw yung BPI, BDO, Metro Bank, and PS Bank. And for the rest of the banks, um, I'm actually not sure. But again, it's good to double check and uh, mas mabuting um, mag-inquire kayo directly sa uh, mga banko nyo. Okay? But I think with, uh, or I think most of the banks right now, um, eligible na siya for international transfer. But, uh, i-verify na, na lang din sa bank nyo para walang problema in the future. Okay. And then, and also one thing, guys, if you might ask, um, magano kaya yung mga charges? Since, of course, from um, dollar, um, mako-convert siya into peso, right? So, actually, you can also check that sa um, sa website ng banko nyo. And um, so far then, based on the research ko, I think ang pinaka malaking charge na nakita ko, charge or fee, is 150. And ang pinaka mababa is 100 pesos. Plus, meron pa siyang um, um, fee for the invoice, kung tama ba. Yep, and hindi naman gano kalaki. So, uh, per 200 pesos, Meron siyang fee na like, I think, um, 6 cents lang. So, let's say, for example, kung may 1,000 ka, right? So, let's say, earning mo is, um, let's say, 1,000 lang, okay? 1,000, so divide mo yun by 200, so that's 5, right? And then, yung 5, um, and then, yung 5e, multiply mo by 0.6 cents or 6 cents. So, yun yung additional fee on top sa... 100 to 150 na charge na um, china charge ng banko. 
Okay? And next, guys, dapat yung i-consider is yung um, exchange rate. Okay? So, you can also check that per banko nyo. Because, again, iba't iba yung um, um, rates nila. Okay? So, um, kung isa-search nyo siya Google kung magkana yung um, equivalent ng dollar ngayon. So, of course, with the bank, um, it might be a bit lesser. Okay? So, again, depende pa rin sa banko nyo. Okay? But, ang uh, importante is makukonvert siya and mas less hassle and then efficient na siya and then why not? Right? Kesa, ano, hahanap ka pa or ikaw pa mismo hahanap ng paraan. Right? So, um, they made everything easier for us. Right? Alright. Okay. So, yep, that's with the bank and next with the Swift PIC. Now, may na-prep na rin ako because you can um, check it sa Google right away. Check nyo lang or type nyo lang or search nyo lang. Uh, Swift Code um, Bank. Ganyan. Then, meron ako nakita itong website na to which is uh, Manny Max. So, automatic nandito na yung mga list of banks together with the corresponding nga Swift Code. Okay? So, since my bank is Metro Bank, so ito, so, Metropolitan Bank and Trust Company. Okay, so copy lang natin to. Okay, and yun. And copy paste lang natin. Right? Then, um, fill in ko na lang din yung ibang information. Okay, so for my name, bank name, and yung bank name. Mas mabuti guys na i-copy paste na lang din to. Ano yung nandito. Para complete yung name ng bank. Okay? So, yun na nga. And then, yung account number, of course, kayo lang nakakaalam nun. Um, guys, again, iba yung card number sa account number. Okay? So, mas mabuting alam nyo rin yan. So, usually, yung account number is makikita below sa name nyo. And most of the time, yung card number is nasa taas or mas malaki siya compared with the um, account number. Okay? Then, just retype lang. So, copy nyo lang yan. Three, four, three. Okay. So, I think we're all set. So, with the last two options dito... Um, no need na. Actually, okay na ang wala yan. So, double check lang. Um, names ng bank account. Uh, your bank. Swift PIC. And your account number. And then, let's click save. Oh, and I think I missed the last part, yung sa bottom pala, para lumabas as your primary. So, make sure na naka-primary rin. Uh, check ko na lang din. Pakita ko ulit. Ito. Itong option, yes. Set it as your primary payment method. So, yun na guys. Successful na. So, meron na tayong payment method. Done na tayong mag-add. So, um, expect na lang na meron ka ma-re-receive na email from Google or YouTube uh, regarding the changes na ginawa mo sa yung account. Okay. So, guys, that's about it for today. So, thank you. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. Thank you for watching.